<laughs> so UFO sightings. Why do UFO sightings, based on you know what you read about, tend to increase during times of war? You know. It, it, oh, that's very simple. Because there are lots of things flying in the air. You know, there were astronomers in Ukraine that reported about seeing dark objects at distance of maybe 10 miles uh, that are the size of 10 meters and are moving at 15 kilometers per second, like 10 miles per second, not per hour, per second. And that's faster than the escape speed from the Earth. Okay, they were reporting about it. They got it wrong. The distance was, I think, wrong. And because they would not be dark, such objects moving so fast would create a fireball like a meteor. So if you bring the distance down by a factor of 10 or 100, you end up with perhaps artillery shells, perhaps bullets, perhaps even uh, flies, you know, passing in front of their camera. There are many more flying things (laughs) in a battlefield. And that's why you get confused. So uh, that's what I think is the reason... Can I be extremely paranoid? I want to be extremely paranoid. I want your feedback on this. So like this article here says, Ukraine's astronomers say there are tons of UFOs over Kiev, right? Okay. Right. So to me, you know, if if let's, let's paint the government to be who we think it is, right? They think you don't have to know everything. They think they know what's best. They think it's better you not know all this stuff about aliens. Okay. So there's two positioning here. One is... When you read about Richard Byrd, Admiral Richard Byrd, when he goes to Antarctica and these two, you know, uh, whatever you want to call it, take control of the plane and they land and they say, look, our concern is right now, uh, you know, too many of you Americans are, humans are playing with fire, with the nuclear bomb and all this other stuff. This is a concern of ours. What are you guys doing on the other side, right, is what he's talking about. So the concern is they want to prevent, one uh, argument is they want to prevent from war taking place because some of them live here. They live in the crust or they live on the hollow side of earth. The other part for me is, which is a paranoid way of thinking about it, is when there's war going on and there's a lot of issues going on politically, the best way to distract people is say, hey, look, I just saw an alien while over here I'm robbing you or I'm taking stuff away from you. So this is also a great tactic to distract people and start focused on uh, aliens. Which of those two do you think is more credible? Oh, the second. But I I do think that um, I have a problem with helicopter parenting, okay? I don't think the aliens are helicopter parenting us. That's unlikely because we are not that important. We're not their kids. Uh, At most, they can just ignore us, you know? Um, But... They started the journey to Earth before humans existed on Earth. They didn't have us in mind. We're not that significant. We keep thinking that everything is centered on us. You know, when you go out to a date, you keep thinking, oh, you are special, that everyone... But then you realize after a time that, you know, you're not that special, okay? And that's what I think we, our starting point should be. We, it's a sign of arrogance of us to think there is nobody out there, And if there is someone out there, they're really trying to fix something here on Earth to help us. You know, I don't believe in uh, helicopter parenting. I believe in gadgets that may have been sent in our direction, possibly with artificial intelligence, but they pursue their goals, okay? And we need to figure out what their goals are rather than assuming that it's about us. We are not that significant. Let's be modest. The cosmic play is not about us. So you think the UFO sighting increase could be a distraction yeah. be- from uh, the government could- working on other things? Like- yeah. For example, the Ukrainian astronomers were able to identify the distance to one object that was very high, you know, like tens of kilometers. And that happens to be... A satellite, and probably a satellite that monitors what happens in the battlefield. So, obviously, there are lots of drones, there are lots of satellites looking over this battlefield that many of us are not aware of. You know, uh, the U.S. government operates, of course, uh, intelligence uh, operations around this battlefield to help the Ukrainian uh, people. You know, that I'm sure is the case. So, the Ukrainians are not really aware, you know, citizens or... Even the military probably is not aware of everything going on. And they would see things, and of course, some people might say it's a UFO, but it's really, it's not an unidentified object. It's an object that some people in Washington, D.C. know exactly what it is because, you know, they operate it. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.